Hello everybody, and today I will be reviewing the slightly brand new official Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin Guidebook. So this is the updated version of the Security Breach files that came out back in 2022, and this includes obviously content for Ruin. It's only like 30 pages, so it's not much, but we'll still go through all of the pages anyway. I already did a review of the entire book back two years ago, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But I was going for the ruins section and some just details I wanted to add. So taking a look at the book compared to the original Security Reach files, it's actually much bigger. It's around the size of the character encyclopedia and the cookbook compared to the original Security Reach files right here. So taking a look at the front covers, we can see the exact same layout of characters. You've got Glamour Free top left, Glamour Chica bottom left, Monty in the top right. And instead of Vanny being the bottom right, we have Mexes, which is an actual T-posing image of him. They could not have gotten a better image, I guess. They like couldn't have just taken an image from the game. Uh, I have a better concept for this. I'll probably put it up on screen now. I think it would be better if they had like Cassie on the on the front cover, like a bit of the AR world, like like AR Roxy would have been a cool character to put. A better image for Mexes, and like maybe some other images of characters, like maybe like Ruin Chico, or Ruin Monty. So first we have the title page for Ruin, just explaining about the, how it's a free DLC for the main game Security Breach. And we just have an image of the logo. Then right next to that we have a informational page about Cassie. This is where my problems start coming already. Cassie is literally the main character, the girl you play as in the game. And she gets this tiny image where you can barely see her. They could have used like the artwork that was in the Roxy Salon of like her and Gregory. I think it would have been way cooler and had like more information, give more detail about the character and how she actually looks instead of the like tiny image from like when she's like very far away in the intro of the game when she's like jumping through the window of the pizza plex. Now here's actually one of the better pages in the book. Well, probably the best page in the whole ruin section, honestly. We have the tools that Cassie uses. So we have the flashlight, the Roxy talkie, Faz wrench, and the security mask, the Vanny mask, with Vanny with an eye, the virtual augmented neural network integration unit, Oh yeah, this is probably one of the best pages in the ruins section because it has like some really good renders and stuff like we have great renders of the roxy talkie and the freddy walkie talkie and a good image of the vanny mask as well that looks really nice like these three renders here look really good also have some images of the flashlight the staff for holding it and the faz wrench some pretty good information very nice layout like it looks really cool reminds, these this whole book kind of just reminds me of like an old video game game guide from like the from, like the early 2000s late 2000s this is, it just looked really nice, honestly. So then we have like the main intro of the game where you meet Ruin Chica and Ruin Monty. They could have had some better images for the animatronics. Like I think they could have had some good renders and stuff instead of just like these tiny screenshots like really close up as well. Like they could have just had some like better images of the characters, like some good renders, like some really high quality renders, like the main game, the main game section where they had like full introductions for the Pizzaplex cast. Like you had one for Freddy, Roxy, Monty and Chica. They looked really good, had nice renders, some good information, quotes from them as well. But these ones just have like images, like this, that's my problem with this whole book. It's just all screenshots, there's no like good renders that has in the tools page. Next we have an introduction to Mexes or the entity. They just have one singular image of him, which I think would be way cooler if they had a full page explaining what he is. Well, not including like, not including some really deep lore that hasn't been told yet, but like just some basic ground information, like the whole Mexes machine. The, like what he does, uh, like how he lures animatronics towards you, like alerts them. This would be way cooler if they added some more information instead of just an image saying, oh, he'll pop up in this area, run away from him, turn off the mask. Just like that stuff. It's like, just kind of bland, I guess. They could just put more effort into this. In the Monty catwalk section, we have the image of Mexes being engulfed by the pixels like from Helpy when Hubby locks him away. And they have this image of the portal from Monty Golf Catwalks. They have it like a giant image covering like 50% of this page here. And for Mexes, they have this little tiny image, little poster note here, where he just shows him. Like they could have like covered the entire page with like the image of Mexes. That would look so cool. And like there's mostly environmental shots. Like there's no really good shots of the animatronics. Like they could have some really nice big images of the characters. Like we had Ruin Chica and Chica's Bakery, Mo Ruin Monty and Gator Golf. And they have these like images of just the environments. Like I get you can have the environments. Like just put some more animatronic images. Show us the animatronics a bit more in the environment. Like here, here's the Roxy salon. Usually you find Roxy standing in front of the mirror, like looking at herself in the mirror, well trying to look at herself in the mirror. And it doesn't even show an image of her. It just shows the destroyed Roxy salon. Like include an image of Roxy like crying in the mirror. Like it'll be more cool, like actually interesting. They swap out the cutscenes 
for just images of the like background and stuff, the environments. Use actual images of the animatronics. You have so many cool images. Here's right next to it. Here's a one of um, Monty being killed by the Glamour Bonnie neon sign. You can barely see Monty. Just his hand and like part of his mohawk in his mouth. And then here we have the Roxy Raceway. And this section talks about like how you're turning off the nodes, like luring Roxy through the through, like, the doors and stuff so you can break them down so you can progress through the game. And like talks about the cutscene where Roxy grabs Cassie's arm and like Cassie tells her to go away and Roxy lets go. They don't have an image of that. It's just a giant image of, of the go-karts, like crash the go-karts into a wall. Use an actual image of the animatronics. That'll look so cool. You just use a random image taking up over 70% of the page of just darkness and like a little bit in the environment. And then Fazza Blast, you don't show an image of Freddy. You show this tiny little image where you can barely see him. He's like in the shadows. And you can't, you don't show like an image of like you finding Freddy and then him like getting up out of the rubble and like, like revealing that his head's gone and his like chest is turned to like a stomach mouth like Nightmare Fredbear. Like you don't include an image of that, but you include an image of Cassie walking through the vent. And then right next to that, we have uh, Roxy's dead body on the floor. Could have included an image of like her with the AR filter on, like the green, like fixing up her like face and stuff. That would look way cooler, I guess. But that would have looked like much better because like it'll add some contrast to the original Roxy picture. Oh wait, what Roxy picture? There's no image of ruined Roxy. It's from this image in the entire book. Next page, we have the sinkhole where it says that Candy Cadet tells you a story about like, the mimic and like how there's a small child who goes into the basement. It doesn't actually say the story. It just says you unlock the whole story like collecting all the Faz coins. Like, tell me the story. Give some actual like information and facts about what happens in the game. Aside from just a full walkthrough. Like, I can just play Ruin myself or watch a YouTube video and get the exact same information. After completing this, the forklift smashes into the wall and Cassie hears Gregory's voice. But it's not Gregory. It's the Mimic who's been copying Gregory's voice. It doesn't explain who the Mimic is. It just says, it's the Mimic. Like, how am I supposed to know who the Mimic is? Like, I know in Ruin, where the Mimic just pops out of nowhere, but, like, they could have explained a bit of, like, what Mimic does. You could have explained, like, what the Mimic looks like, how it's, like, really strong, it literally bends metal with its hands when it's, like, the elevator. You don't even have an image of it at the elevator, either. Like, it's just one tiny image, you can barely even see his face, because his hand is covering it. You could have got an image of him, like, wa walking out of the dark, and then, or pushing the forklift down to the ground, and, like, chasing off the Cassie. You could have had an image of his jump scare. That would have been cool. But no, you have a tiny little image while you have an image of the steps right under it. Well, we definitely need to see those wooden steps, but we don't see an image of the main villain of the whole game. And then for the endings, the endings page, we have a image of the elevator security camera where Gregory speaks through. We have this image taking up 70% of the both of both of these pages. And like, where, why do we have to see this? Why do we have to see this? Why don't you have it as a like, small image and have the mimic like reaching through the, like the chase scene of the mimic, like ch the mimic chasing towards the elevator and it gets its hand caught and like, the hand cuts off. Like, why not just have that instead of this image of the ca security camera? Like this doesn't tell me anything. At least show the mimic, like show them a better image of the mimic. So for the scoop ending, it gives an explanation of what happens, I guess, like how you get it. But it doesn't acknowledge that the Mimic is wearing a completely different costume. Like, it's not just an endoskeleton. It's wearing a full suit. It doesn't acknowledge these suits in his room either. Like, the bird, the, the bird, the elephant, or the lion. Same with the safe spot ending, or the, the Brazil ending, how it's called in the game files. It doesn't have an image of what, like, it is. Like, like what it shows. One more thing I think they could have added to the book is that they could have added some more information about the collectibles you can find. So, the comment pages and just the... AR collectibles. So just in the AR collectibles description, it has more information about Cassie's dad. So like how he collects Fazbear merchandise and how his favorite character is Bonnie. It does say he's a Fazbear technician, but it doesn't explain anything else about him, which I think is very strange. And also could I talk about the comic pages. So the comic pages show the endings of the security breach, and this is used to prove that the Princess Quest ending is the canon one. So I think they could have just given some more information or actually explained that. Also, Glamour Bonnie is not even mentioned at all. It doesn't explain how you get to him or it doesn't even explain that he's even in the game. He's just not mentioned at all, nowhere in the book. So overall, I'd rate this book about like a probably 4 out of 10, honestly, maybe 5 out of 10. I'd say the Ruin part by itself is like a 2 out of 10. I'd recommend just watching an actual full walkthrough or playing the game yourself. This book doesn't really explain many interesting details that you can't just find online. So that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Goodbye.